Or the bread. Yeah. Have you seen what Cornelius eats like eats the pre without water? So I'm doing it the other day. I literally just had a scoop of pre and just like ate it without water. I tried it thinking it was gonna be easy and it was the hardest. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, that's literally my goal. It's almost dodgy as fuck. No water, mm. bro. It's in my nose. I it's got like a little like. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally up my nose. <laughs> You're being judged hard, Tom. I think we're here, boys. Is this it? Pre-workout motivation in before we train. Oh, fucking hell. Right, so we've met up with Tom and his buddies that were on like a school trip in London doing some, <laughs> doing some like <laughs> colouring shit or something. That's, like, something to do with university. But um, we're at the like sketchiest, one of the sketchiest areas in London. Like there was actually seven of us when we first started. Today. Wait, how many of us? Four, five? Two got stabbed and then the other person got kidnapped by a black man. I think <laughs> Je was that Jen? Basically gone to this like ghetto, juicy as fuck gym. Yeah, we'd hit like a chest session, the attempt to try and move like more than two plates. <laughs> Chris. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, who's got smaller cast? So Labumba, Christian Guzman, or Tom Stockton? Comment down below. Labumba. Oi. Oi. Christian Guzman or Tom Stockton? Since I've been ill, this is my first proper chest session. I was getting like one, two, five, four sets of six reps on bench, like kilograms. Since I've been so ill and lost like so much mass, like, I doubt I can even get that for two. So just kind of play it by yourself, see how it goes, and then hit some like chest, shoulders, and fuck knows. We're gonna use my upper strength session as like a blueprint and then just remove back. So we're gonna do chest, shoulders from here. Like the sweetest sound in the world. You ready? Real takes. Oh. <laughs> 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 Fucking slow motion, bro. I'll put that in my shooting at 50 frames a second. We'll do a classic. Get some uh, electronic music on there. 12 frames a second. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like four sets, flat, flat bench, 110, four to six reps. Let's go! I've done it before, but. Bro, what the fuck are you taking? You got some smiling, bro. <laughs> The fuck? Just for the ego. Do it for the ego. Oh. For the ego. Oh. Clean. Oh. Right guys, I've never actually done flat bench before. Like, I'm probably just gonna throw six plates on, see how it goes, get a couple of reps, so. Now going on to barbell seated, shoulder press slash like military press, whatever you wanna call it. Kind of strict form, even though, yeah, there we go, that's what I'm talking about. And then we're hitting like four sets, eight reps from that, and we'll do some uh, isolation shit. Okay. Fuck me, that needs a lift off. That, sh oh, <laughs> that shoulder mobility, though. This is called the uh, rotator cuff. Oh, dislocator. Go on, bro, you can do it. Wait, let's leave it there. Let's, let's just see the angle real quick. <laughs> you, do that. you can do it, bro. No. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> right, final set. We're only doing three sounds of this, but the hit and wrapped to failure. Tommy, you got 14 to hit. 14 to beat, bro. Uh, 
Next up, we'll hit some like, uh, we'll hit some incline push press. So here is some Swiss machine. Gonna hit triceps, gonna hit upper chest. But like this one, it's all about the squeeze. So the, um, like when you get to the top, you actually contract and squeeze the chest. It's like, it's a beautiful feeling. You got a bit heavier? Yeah, is it really light? Yeah. One more. Right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm, Are trying, you ready? I'm gonna try and find them angles, bro. I'm not asking if you're ready, Tom. I'm asking if you're ready. I don't think, I don't think See, they are. That's so engaging. <laughs> that's why people love me. You got engaged with your audience, Always bro. Engaged with the audience. Oi, 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 oh, oi, oh, oi, 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 oh, oi, 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 ah, oi, ah, oh, oi, oi, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and find an angle where I don't look fat and small. It's quite a hard one. That's impossible when you're fat and small. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Bulky, bro. See me in it though. I can fuck that. Do you want photos? Here we go. Oh, oh it's tasty. It's tasty as fuck. I got my drone, man. Should we go for a quick drone fight? No. We got the sickest view to the right, but these guys are being party poopers and have to get back to. They got a coach to catch. If Tom gave a single shit about anyone on my YouTube channel and didn't think they were all cunts for following me, he would stay here, he would go out tonight and not leave me to go to this drum bass event on my own and he would indulge in the finest wobs known to man. Bro, you just use me for content, you just ru you ruined my life, the you made me look a dick. To be fair, like, why, why would you be friends with someone if you can't, like, get something from them? That's like, that's the way I think That's true, you know? that's yeah. true. Like, I don't give a shit about anyone, you know? Off my own dignity. Yeah. This is when my car broke down for, like, seven hours on the way back from Ballmasters in a video, like, in one of my older videos from the summer. You use it this for about an hour. Like, literally looked like you sound out of sleep. Like, whispered to John and go, No, he's asleep. You went, No, I'm not. Bro, it was fucking <laughs> horrible. It was like, it wasn't even like there was like room for us to lie down. The car was like packed out with fucking people, wasn't it? Oh, we fucking made it. Wow. We just made the train. Wow, it's the B357918. Wow. Wow. Tommy missed yeah. the train. Run. Dude, it's a thumbnail. Run. Run. <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking falls in the tracks. <laughs> like this. There you go. Wait, stay like that. Perfect. Just getting the thumbnail. Good job. Go on. Almost, almost just like put your tongue on that track there, the middle one, with like the little coney things on the. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. I'll catch you later. <laughs> Clickbait. He punched me. He punched me. <laughs> right, see you in a bit, mate. Unit 7 fitness and X right now. 
I'm doing a video shoot for this clothing brand, so we're just making like some Instagram promo content. I'm filming it, I'm editing it. That's what's going down today. I've come from London to Exeter, which is like two and a half, three hours. I picked up a car, I'll show you guys in a bit. Millie's left me, I was gonna make like a really clickbait emotional video called like saying goodbye or something. Basically, she's gone to uh, Thailand for three months and um, I might go out there and yeah. So this part of the video is gonna be about how I calculate my macronutrients, how to do it yourself, and what my current macros are. So I said this last time and it's worth saying it again, but you don't have to overcomplicate things. Everyone, including me, just because I've been doing it for ages and understand it all, love to overcomplicate things. And if you're just starting, like it can sound really, really complicated and confusing, but you basically build up your knowledge. So don't even consider macros, don't consider this until you know all about calories, you understand calories, and then you can learn about macros. And then once you've learned about macros, you can maybe go on to things like meal timing and looking at other things like that and carb cycling. But for now, calories, and macros are all you're gonna focus on. Let's start off nice and simple. In the last video, we talked about our maintenance calories. So let's assume that our maintenance calories are 3,000 calories. We've taken our weight for a week every day. Our weight hasn't really changed when we've been eating 3,000 calories. So that number there is the amount of calories you need to maintain our weight to stay the same. So if we ate that, we're not to grow, we're not gonna shrink. I'm dyslexic, so I have no fucking clue if that's right. Low key retarded, but everyone got triggered when I said that last time. So 3000 calories is gonna be our maintenance. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that number and add 200 calories. This number here is gonna be our bulking calories. It's above our maintenance calories, so we're in a calorie surplus. We've got 200 more calories than we need to maintain weight. So that's gonna help us grow. And what I'd then do is take my weight and adjust and fine tune this number until I'm gaining the right amount of weight per week. Like I talked about last time, guys. A true calorie surplus of 200 calories is probably going to be a bit excessive, like you're probably not going to need that much, but because we're going by the weight, we're going to adjust it so we can drop it down or raise it if it's too big or too small. At the end of the day, 3,000 calories every day is not to be your maintenance. You might do more exercise, you might do more steps, you might train in the gym a little bit longer. And with 3,200, just because it gives us that little bit of a buffer to ensure we're always in a surplus, protein, fats and carbs. In each one of these, there's going to be a certain amount of calories associated with it. So if we have one gram of protein, it's going to equal a certain amount. One gram of fat is going to equal a certain amount. So protein, in one gram of protein, so let's just say like one gram of chicken, because it's basically just protein, there's going to be four calories. Fats, in one gram of fat, there's going to be nine calories. And in one gram of carbohydrates, we're also going to have four calories. So these numbers are very important when it comes to actually working out our macros. So first thing I'm going to calculate is protein intake. When it comes to protein intake, you'll hear so many different things and there's such a conflict in terms of what people say isn't enough, what people say is too much. And the number I like to go with is 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. But the science on protein intake, looking specifically at bodybuilders and people wanting to gain mass whilst in a calorie surplus is incredibly, incredibly limited. So it's kind of like a bit of a hit and miss. And I've got this number from people like Lyle McDonald, uh, Jeff Nippard, Lane Norton. I've looked at all their recommendations and I've kind of formed an intermediate and that's what I've always gone with. So with me, the amount of protein I have on a daily basis is going to be one gram per pound of body weight. And for most people, that's going to be sufficient. If you're a bit overweight, I'd go on the bottom side of this. If you were very, very lean, I'd consider putting a little bit more protein in. So I'm going to go with a nice intermediate at one gram protein per pound of body weight. Nice and simple. Take my weight in pounds and I times it by the amount of protein in grams per pound. So I'm going with one gram per pound of body weight. So 200 times one equals 200 grams of protein per day. But what we're gonna want as well is we're gonna want to know how many calories are in 200 grams of protein. Fuck that, shut up, we'll ignore that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my protein intake per day and times that by four. So 200 grams of protein, that's one gram, times that by four, because there's four calories in a gram and that'll give us a total amount of calories. So 200 grams. Okay, so we now know that in 200 grams of protein, there's 800 calories. So, so far we have got 3,200 calories in total per day, 200 grams of protein, which equals 800 cal fat intake. How much fat do you want to eat? Not having enough fat in your diet is going to affect things like testosterone production, which obviously is not good at all for gains. We want to make sure we're getting enough fat, but we don't want to be getting too much fat either. Too much fat, you're going to store excess fat as fat or adipose tissues, it's called. So our fat intake, we're going to go for 25% of our total calories should come from fat. So we are on 3,200 calories to bulk and we want to work out 25% of that for our fat intake. So what we're going to do, 3,200 divided by 100 to get 1%. So 32 calories equals 1% because we divide it by 100. And then we want to get 25%. So obviously 1 to 25, you times that by 25. So we're going to take our 1%, which is 32, and times that by 25, which gives us 800 calories. 
So to get enough fat, we want 800 calories of fat in our diet per day. How do we work that out in grams though? So like I said earlier, one gram of fat equals nine calories. We're gonna take 800 calories, which is 25% of our bulking calories, and we're gonna divide that number by nine, which is the amount of calories in one gram of fat. So that would equal 88.8 grams of fat. Let's call that 989 grams of fat. Okay, so for fat intake, we're gonna to wanna to be eating 89 grams per day, which is 25% of our total calories, and 89 grams is equivalent to 800 calories worth of fat in our diet. Carbs. So now you can see why we're working out the calories for the proteins and fats. Basically, carbohydrates is going to be everything left over. So any calories you've got left over after we've used them for calculating our proteins and fats is going to be what we're eating for carbs. So we know that our macros look like this. Conveniently, the protein and fats have worked out at the exact same amount of calories. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add together proteins and fats, the calories from proteins and fats, then we're gonna take that number away from our total bulking calories to give us our calories that we get from carbohydrates. So, so if we add our calories from proteins and fats, that's gonna equal 1,600 calories from proteins and fats. So bulking calories, 3,200 minus 1,600. Conveniently again, I didn't even work this out equals 1600. We've taken our bulking calories that we worked out at the start, the amount we want to eat every single day. We've taken away the calories from proteins plus fats together and that would leave us with 1600 calories left. Okay, so we're gonna take the number that's left over after we've taken away proteins and fats from our bulking calories and then we're gonna divide that by four. So whatever your number is, divide it by four and that will equal the amount of carbohydrates you should be consuming in grams and that is how I calculate your macros. Right, I've got to talk even quicker because my memory card's about to run out of space, but my macros at the minute is I'm currently eating 3,500 calories per day, but that changes. If I'm not training, I will eat about 300 calories less on my rest days. So I wouldn't even worry about these differences unless you've got absolutely everything dialed. But what I like to do is on my rest days is I reduce the amount of carbohydrates I eat, maybe down to like 350, and I increase the amount of fat that I eat. But the average, so my average amount that I eat eat across the week stays the same. So what I do is I calculate all of this like we've just done and then after I've worked that out on specific days when I'm resting is I'll take away some carbs and then add some more fats. It's as simple as that just because you don't need the carbs when you're not training but it's such a small minute detail I wouldn't even worry about this guys like it's just overcomplicating things and it's like not really much point in talking about it. All of this and more is on my athlete guide that's in the description down below and I show how to calculate all of this in much greater depth and detail. Um, you can check that out if you want and if you're already on it cheers boys uh muscle food code down in the description below and the q code as well mo10 on vanquish and muscle food that'll give you a tenner off on muscle food and then you can save like 10 percent on vanquish i just changed them all to make them all the same and everything easier and uh i think that's everything so the cameras just died but we still got the mic plugged in so um that's everything i want to say i can't do like the outro because we haven't got a camera right now but uh i've got 25 minutes of me writing on a bit of paper to edit down into like a nice sub 10 minutes let me know what you want to see next week if you have any questions just drop them down below i'll try and get back to as many of you as you can i read all the comments and uh as always i love you guys keep killing it peace out